Hello. In the traditional motion picture story, the villains are usually defeated. The ending is a happy one. I can make no such promise for the picture you're about to watch. The story isn't over. You and the audience are part of the conflict. More human beings were slaughtered in the 20th century than all previous centuries combined. We're talking a congressional record, 135 million dead. Their entire purpose was to detach our culture from any moral anchors whatsoever. You look at the changes in America since 1960, perhaps, the, the whole culture's been transformed. They're coming out of the belief that the village should raise the child. Uh, and the village means the government. They have deliberately destroyed the American family, understanding that's the foundational block that uh, builds a society. We've come from uh, Norman Rockwell's America to, uh, you know, Hugh Hefner's America. If we lose the Judeo-Christian framework, we're lost forever. While the USA goes around the world expounding on the virtues of its way of life, it is obvious that those in charge place little value on human life. They are willing to kill thousands, even millions, for profit, for power, for money, for oil and resources. The USA doesn't even value the lives of its own citizens. Witness the numerous testings of weapons, drugs, medications, pesticides, GMOs, subterfuge on its own population. One of the few developed nations that fails its citizens totally in the area of the right to adequate health care, those who cannot afford it do not get it. Financially, mentally and physically robbed by politicians, banksters and industry without the capacity to understand how to care for themselves, they end up homeless on the street, begging for money being robbed, being beaten, being hungry, committing crimes because they have no choice. Then there are the families. The lives of these families are becoming pure hell. There is violence, destruction and threats. An all-out attack from the health system, the government, law enforcement and even neighbors. The state itself is ultimate. If there's nothing, no law higher than the state, and if there's no law higher than the state, there's no appeal against it. They're training them for the collective, and a collective mindset and a dependency mindset. And it seems that they, again, want to have people be uneducated, so then they do become wards of the state. They're dependent on the government to provide everything for them. So, meet the mentally ill of the USA and the victims of the many who go without being cared for. Meet the disposable people. The political pundits and politicians have started a mantra about gun control in order to gain more control over the population. It's not the guns, stupid. It's the lack of care for your own people. It is suggested that the USA get its own house in order before dictating to the rest of the world. Use the many blessings and resources of the land, the people, for your own, and not for trotting around the globe, killing others for profit, whilst those at home suffer. The capitalist system sees people as a disposable commodity to be thrown out if not productive or useful in some way. The American dream. You have to be asleep to believe it. Once people figure it out, they're going to do what people everywhere do. They're going to start protesting and they're going to start revolting. And when that happens, that's when the powers that be feel threatened 
and they use the power that they have. Meet the USA's disposable people. Oil soaked and fracked. Food poisoned. Inoculated by tainted vaccines. Fukushima radiation. Trapped by mainstream media propaganda. Spied upon by government. Impoverished. Murdered. A homeless empire created by and destroyed by the U.S. military-industrialist complex. Treated like garbage. Promulgated by the same shady cast of characters responsible for embroiling us in the endless war on terror in the first place. Americans, the disposable people. Shalom.